Hi, in the previous tutorials, we've completed the assembly, the test, and also the simple experiment to make the car go straight and turn left or right. Besides, with more other modules or devices connected to the car, it can have more interesting functions. First, let's try the obstacle avoidance experiment. To realize this function, we need to connect the related devices to the car, wire them to the modules and boards, and then upload the sketch to the board. So now let's begin. First, assemble the mount for the photoelectric switch. Take out the acrylic plate, and then pour M1.2 by 5 step tapping screws, the MG90 servo and its rocker arm. Take out the long one. Then align the holes of the rocker arm to the holes of the plate. Insert the screws. Tighten them with the screwdriver. Then take the acrylic plate to hold the servo and two M2 by 10 screws and two M2 nuts. Insert the sharp part of the servo into the hole of the plate. Fasten them with the screws and nuts. Then take out the acrylic plate with the round hole for the photoelectric switch. Take out a M3 by 12 screw and M3 nut. Stick the plate with the round hole to the base plate for the servo. Then fasten them with the screw and nut. Then connect the servo with the rocker arm. Fasten them with the servo screw, which is one of the shorter screws. Tighten the screw. Then take out the photoelectric switch. Insert the front part into the hole of the plate, then screw the washer back. So now the photoelectric switch is assembled to the mount. Turn the servo to see if it can move smoothly. Then assemble the mount to the car. Place it on the front plate of the car. Fasten them with two M3 by 12 screws and M3 nuts.
So the assembly is done. Now wire the switch with the modules and boards. First, get the two obstacle avoidance modules. Connect them with the sensor shield. First, plug the wires into the heads of the modules. Take out two M3 by 20 copper standoffs and two M3 by 6 screws. Insert the screws to the modules and tighten the standoffs to the screws. Align the standoffs to the slots of the plate. Insert the screw. Tighten the screws. Then the modules are fixed to the car. Now wire the modules. Cross the wires through the holes of the plane next to the big servo and then the holes of the plane next to the rear wheels. Then connect the modules with the sensor shield. The modules GND to the shields GND, VCC to VCC and the two pin out of the modules to pin 4 and 7 of the shield. Then connect the photoelectric switch with the sensor shield. is red wire which is power supply to 5 volts of the shield, green wire which is ground to GND, and yellow wire which is signal line to pin 12 of the shield. Then connect the small servo to the sensor shield. It's red wire to 5 volts, ground to GND, and orange to pin 3 of the shield. So now the wiring is done. Connect the UNO board to your computer with the USB cable. And you can see the servo turning. In the folder you downloaded, go through code 5 point car avoid obstacle car avoid obstacle. Click open the inner file. In the IDE, check the board, the port. Then click the right arrow to upload a sketch to your board. Now the function works. Test the function. Place something in front of the car. 
So the servo controls the photoelectric switch to turn from 0 to 180 degrees, detecting whether there is any obstacle. If yes, it will turn away. So the obstacle avoidance function works 